So I want to do a quick introduction to notes and <clears throat> how I'm doing it in class. A lot of people like to use PowerPoints nowadays, show the notes on the computer. And if you can work with the teacher and try to get, um, or wherever you need to do it, conference room, you can get either VNC or join.me to work, it'll work the best. Right now we're going to use VNC. <clears throat> so you have your PowerPoint right there. Introducing PowerPoint 2007. And then let's say you you want to see that screen. So basically remote in. So I already remoted in. So now I can see the screen, what, what he's presenting. So when it goes to the next page, it shows up. Now at this point, I can take a screenshot. Now you can use a regular screenshot mode and that would work. But... Using this one, I like it a little better because you can crop. So, uh, see, basically, you can actually just select what part of the window you want. When you do that, you hit save, easy, done. Then you go back, basically, to what you were doing Evernote. I'm just using Evernote because somebody was actually using that. Then you hit the attach button, look for the picture you just took in the screenshot folder. Boom. Very easy to do. Keep going to the next page, you can, or keep going after that, basically. Um, when they... As they're talking, you can basically keep track notes. So this presentation demonstrates blah 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 blah. Then when they go to the next slide, you can say okay, text, pictures, and graphics. You can go back and forth very easy. So they're like, well, okay, I need to know that one. Let's do another screenshot. Let's take a screenshot. It takes a screenshot within a second. Crop it real fast. Just get what you need. Crop saves another screenshot. Done there. Go back to Evernote, attach another attachment, picture, screenshot, and then do the last one you just did. Pretty easy to do. Once you're done, you hit done. It goes right there. So now that's Evernote. Um, it it kind of looks, you know, interesting like that. You have pictures at least, so it's not too bad. Um, those are my other notes I was taking. That's just one program you can use. You can use Think Free Office is another one to to do. Um, it's fairly the same thing, make a new document, and then when you start typing notes one, then you can attach from gallery, very easy to do, screenshot, click the one you want, and you can actually resize it, so you can choose a size and then you can just make it smaller you want, but continue the notes basically, um, this slide had to do with blah blah, easy to do with this one, same thing. Um, Polaris Office does the same thing, Kingston Office does the same thing, so that's pretty easy to do. But that's using VNC. VNC is more secure, but the thing is, um, sometimes, where, depending where you are at, they don't have um, Wi-Fi connecting with other Wi-Fi, so it might not work. So, say if that doesn't work, basically you can get join.me. And join.me, very easy, you just download the program, and then it gives you a share option up here. Let's do a quick update real fast, so let me do that. I'll get this ready. So once you're ready, you hit share, and it'll give you a number. And then when I go to join.me on here, I type in that number. It refreshes every time you hit share. So now I can see their screen after a couple seconds. There you go. Same thing, you can zoom in, I believe, take a screenshot of the picture you want, click that, get a screenshot, crop what you need. Easy to do. <coughs> Boom, save, go back to whatever document you're using, go back, well, go back to Think Free. Same thing, attach from gallery. Screenshot, a lot of screenshot, basically the exact same one, but very easy to do, very easy to take notes. Um, but you do need to work with the teacher. Join.me is very easy because you just install the program on the computer, less than a megabyte, I think. Um, share, you click a button, get your nine digit number, enter, enter that into there, and you're done.